In the heart of bluegrass country is River City Truck Parts, a semi-truck salvage operation just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. We take trucks apart all the time. We just buy them complete. Sometimes they drive in. We'll generally cut them all the way down, salvage them, and recycle the entire truck. Specializing in used and core diesel engine, transmissions, differentials, and associated parts. A fertile source for a growing number of diesel-powered pullers in the Battle of the Bluegrass series. A few classes are arguably more impressive than Pro Street Semi. These leviathans of the loam could come under the domination of this guy, Tim Ashley. Hopefully we're going to be six for six here. Uh, next year we'll be coming down here with four more trucks. With this new threat on the horizon, pulling promoter Tom McConnell is looking for someone to challenge Ashley. And it just so happens that Derek McWhorter, Jimmy's son and president of River City Truck Parts, has found himself coming under increasing pressure to do something with a particular Peterbilt that he's fond of. I mean, Jack's up here working on the truck, and I think he needs going to need a clutch. And I need to know, is, is, is Evan, can you get him to come look at it? Yeah, he should be over here today about 3.30. About 3 or 3.30 today. Hey, Dirk, that big can that's out there in that old Pete, I've got it sewed. Can I get the guys to go ahead and start taking it out? Which Pete you talking about, the red and black one? Yeah. That's an old classic Pete. I can't, how, how we're not going to sell that. Why wouldn't we sell it? I've been trying to hang on to that for a long time. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that truck yet, but I don't want to sell it. Like a toothache. <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> I still don't want to sell this too classic of a truck to cut it up. All right, I'll find another one out here we on the should, lot and see what we got. We should have another one. Out. I'd rather check out there first. Don't, That's only one you got. That one's a good runner, so starting there. I you never know what that Pete might turn out to be. Okay, we'll see what else we got. I'm blurry about that, too. Worried about that. No, you'll be surprised what that Pete might be one day. Well, yeah, I shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know y'all want to export the motor out of it since we bought it. I know. Yeah. You got to stop your hands off. <laughs> He's had plans with it ever since I brought it in here, probably seven or eight years ago. It's, to me, it's just a piece of scrap. It's just a piece of iron. And he's got attached to it. I don't know if he's like his lost buddy or something like that. Well, I just don't want to get rid of that old Pete. What are you going to do with it? I don't want We need the room. We'll get any more we need space. We used to use it to move trailers around. We just don't use it for that anymore. But it's just too good of a classic truck to get rid of it. For years, they've been trying to get me to cut it. They've taken the torch, they've moved it up to the cutting bay where we cut, and I've had to stop them multiple times over the years. I wanted to sell the Pete because the money was there. And as River City Truck Parts, I mean, we, we get trucks in and we tear them down, knock them in the head to get to take the motors and stuff and get the truck parts, and then we sell some of the body parts along the way too. That's our market, that's our business. If you ain't feeding turn it for money right now, you can get the rest of the pieces you can take down to part out and sell to people that need some stuff for that drug, because it doesn't brush, no, no part of it. We bought it for 3500 and we were going to get 5500 out of it, so it was a good running motor that would have made the customer happy. Hooked on Dirt is being brought to you by River City Truck Parts, the heavy-duty parts you need when you need them. And by Oldham County Tourism, three bourbon brands, horse farms, and 30 trains a day. And by Switzerland County Tourism, we live it, you'll love it, visit switzcountytourism.com. And by Bubba Burger, you'll never bite a burger better than a Bubba. Welcome back to Hooked on Dirt. 
As a sponsor of the series, River City Truck Parts has come into the orbit of Battle of the Bluegrass CEO, Tom McConnell, who can be very persistent. Well, uh, I think Tom McConnell's here. I wonder what he's wanting every time I see him coming. He's bumming. <laughs> I know it. What's going on, y'all? Hey, man. Good to see you, Derek. What's going on? Jimmy, Same glad thing, you're in town, man. Well, I'm, I am too, I think. Now, all yeah. you're going to be talking Derek into something here he don't need to do. No, no, now listen, listen. I think so much about you all. Sure. Your, your business. And I'm so sure. dedicated on how I can maximize the opportunities for y'all. And you know what? I've come up with something that's going to be a win-win for you all. When somebody comes at you and they're going to help you, you better watch it. You better bend over. Well, here's the deal, Derek. These trucks now are so popular, semi, reaching out to your customer. Now, I've sold you a good deal with the banners along the track, the PA announcements, you bring your engine display, but I think you need to take this up to the next step. You had a semi out there on the track. If you've got all the parts, you've got here's all the money. engines. Here's where the money comes in. Here's where you work, buddy. Well, it's here's, here's the thing. It's not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to charge you anything, but I do have commercial spots available, I can tell you, <laughs> at a discounted rate, discounted to the bottom, but think about all the sales you're going to get by showcasing your engines, your parts, and everything. Where's the love come in? I think you guys just really need to look at doing this. I mean, your you're semi-class, you've been getting more and more drivers follow your class. I mean, I've been noticing, I mean, your attendance on the semi-class has grown. The rules are set, I think, where guys feel like, for the most part, they've got a chance they can get out there and play and they can afford it just to try to keep the cost down because, you know, high performance costs a little bit more, but it's not as expensive as you think because what we can do with getting you on TV, high performance companies are going to flock to you. Yeah, They're going to be sitting there with their checkbook just wanting to give you money because of all the products you can sell them. Meanwhile, in West Virginia, unknown to Derek and Jimmy McWhorter, Pro Street semi-puller Tim Ashley is building a new competition rig, which may cause Derek some grief in the future. All right, guys, what we're going to do, we saved this from a junkyard down in uh, Alabama. We're going to go and make this a new pulling truck for this coming season. I want it to go, and we'll pull the hood off, pull the front bumper off, we'll start disconnecting the wiring harnesses from the cab, breathe their fuel tanks, uh, then we'll back it up, lift the cab off, and after that we'll pull the motor and uh, transmission all at one time, start disassembling it. I haven't got the bottom out. Go get the torch. Go get the torch. We'll torch it out real fast. Right there, cut that. Look at these. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you need to cut this wire right there and pull that whole wiring harness over on your side. You got that? Come down here. Come here.
back in Kentucky, Tom McConnell of Battle of the Bluegrass State has his work cut out for him. I've, to, I've told life. you time after time I'm not interested in being on TV. <laughs> if you would just give it a try, I think you'll realize your phone will ring. If people want to give us money, that's one thing. Now, if they want money, it's a totally different thing. And I'm, I'm, I'd rather not get into that. I'm well, getting too old. I mean, Derek didn't even know how to drive a truck. That's where you start if you're going to try to keep going to do something. I've driven in circles out on the yard. Oh, yeah. well, that's all you got to do is go in a straight line. You get the truck there, I'll get somebody in the seat. I don't don't what, worry about that. I don't know what truck would ever use. You got no Peterbilt sitting out there. I told you years ago when I first started working that to make a sharp pull of truck. That old red and black one? Yeah, yeah. What year is that? 78. Might not be a bad idea. That might be something we can do with that old truck. No, kind of. Brandon had a motor sold, so very, very you let that thing go down the road. Or it's gonna cost money. Look, I'll tell you what, here's what I'll do. We want some more good trucks in our class. You get that truck out there, I'll go find you a good sponsor. You can trust me, Derek. I'll go find it. But I probably won't have to. It'll probably fall out of the sky with people wanting to be in. Derek, we only got a few months, man. You gotta get the truck rolling, man. Let's go pull it. I don't know what no, I'd say. I have to, I have to convince him, and I'm gonna have to talk to Daniel. Daniel, well, he always says no. Don't talk to <laughs> Daniel. Just uh -huh. you can do it. You can do it. Daniel yeah, cover all of our bases. I would like to see the truck do something. I, I would like to give that truck that kind of life. Look, you got the parts. You got the engine. You got the truck. You got everything you need. Got the money. What I happened, know what the deal is. What happens if we start showing up there and beating some of these guys that we're selling parts to, though? I'll talk to them and tell them, you know, that y'all are all right. I'll calm them down. So we might upset or Mr. Tim Ashley yeah, if, we, if we come right in this year and start beating them. That'd be interesting to find you out. You're already planning on doing that on the truck. Well, no, but just watching our series grow. I'm watching Tim come in. I'd like to, I'd like to beat Tim just since he come in so strong last. Year. You ask Tim how much money he's stuck in his pocket since he's been a racer. I'll talk to Tim and ask him how much money it costs to beat him. He's made a lot of money for him. That's all I can say, Derek. You need to jump in, man. Are you in? We'll have to, we'll have to show me the money, Tom. And I've got a name, perfect name for the truck. Picking up the pace. Picking up the pace. That's it. You're in. I'll see you on the track. All right. Well, Derek better pick up the pace because Tim Ashley's got a good head start on his truck in West Virginia. Shut your eyes, and you're probably gonna get burned. They're hurt. All right, guys, it's all yours. You gotta be taking out of that. I talk, I might catch myself on fire all the time. at all? No. Let's go right there. Bring it up. Where's that bar at? Watch that thing. It's gonna be hot. Okay. All right. How about you? Oh, you should be able to bring yours out. Pull your bottom out. Whole thing. Pull.
out of acetylene. Get this radiator and I'll figure out how I want to take that out. Hooked on Dirt is being brought to you by River City Truck Parts, the heavy duty parts you need when you need them. And by Oldham County Tourism, three bourbon brands, horse farms, and 30 trains a day. And by Switzerland County Tourism. We live it. You'll love it. Visit SwitzCountyTourism.com. And by Bubba Burger. You'll never bite a burger better than a Bubba. As we return to Kentucky, many pullers come to River City Truck Parts to buy and sell and gossip. How are you doing, Ken? All right, Kim. All right, Kimberly, you're at the counter. You're never here. Yeah, I don't want to see you walking up. I figured to greet you when you come in. I came here today to sell some cores to River City Truck Parts. I uh, take the trucks apart and sell them the engines out of transmissions, rear end sometimes. We've been working together with him for a while, so sometimes we both have to give and take a little along the way, so when it ends up working out pretty good for us. Two weeks ago, we got four grand. Last week, it was three. What are they now? We'll get you happy in the middle. Yeah, we're definitely <laughs> working. What's going on? Here, Tom's trying to push to get that nitrous in the pulling. Yeah, he's been talking about it in a couple different categories there. I don't know some of them there, one and some don't. People don't realize how safe nitrous oxide is. I'm good friends with a guy named Ted Jones that started nitrous oxide in drag racing and proved to the world that it was safe, and that's been going on for years and years and years. We know it's safe in diesels because people have won national championships running nitrous oxide. It's tractor pulling's dirty little secret. Well, you know, it's here and there. I mean, all the diesel boys would like to have it to run against the alcohol. Then in the semis, it'd be a wonderful thing just because it's going to bring a whole new perspective to truck pulling. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And I think it'd be great in a lot of the other classes, too. But you need to get everybody on board, and I think it could be done over the next year or so. I don't know what they're going to do, then they wouldn't be able to accuse each other of cheating with nitrous. Right. Well, they'd find something about it. You got a motor too big or something, you know. Yeah. Rear ends in the wrong location or a hitch or something, it'll always be something. You got the airbags up or down. I think it'd be good for parts business anyway. Oh, yeah. As long yeah. as I don't tear my truck up. Yeah, you will sooner or later. <laughs> Guaranteed. As long as it's in the winter, sir, it don't matter. Well, that'll be good. Let's, let's get your motors and stuff unloaded. So, you're going to tell me what you're going to give me today or not? Yeah, we'll probably, I can give you 25 today. Yeah, it's keep going down. It gets worse every time we come in. Somebody's making all the money. Yeah, I wish it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I well, appreciate it. The Hardens are coming in, which have never really been involved much with the gas side of the pulling, but they're using some of the heavy duty differentials in their trucks. They must be pushing a lot of horsepower. We're needing a rear end for a two wheel drive pulling truck. Uh, SQHD, like a 38,000 pound rock wheel. And we run a semi rear end and they turn super stock two wheel drive trucks, so we thought we'd come down and give them a chance and see if we can't buy something from them. Uh, we was looking for like a 617 gear and a 583. Steep ratio, what are you putting it in? We run two wheel drive pulling trucks. He runs the Moonshine Mini truck and I run the Cheating Situation truck. Oh, y'all probably pull for Sly Fox Tom. Yeah, yeah. that's who it is. <laughs> Battle bluegrass. Uh, sometimes you, if you bust a transmission, you have to go with another transmission. You got two hog heads laying around that you can swap back and forth, try to get the right gear ratio back that you're running. Have y'all heard anything about Tom legalizing nitrous to the classes? We've heard a rumor on that a couple times, but uh, so far it hadn't happened. In the super stock two wheel drive classes, the fact that the big blocks dominate and you've got all these pro stock trucks. Maybe one of the answers for nitrous oxide is to let the pro stock trucks run nitrous oxide. That's something I'll bring up with the Hardens. Boy, they won't like that. Be good for hood people. <laughs> they probably blow their hoods off. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna put it on if it comes late? I, I ain't gonna run that other. I'll try it. Well, if everybody else is gonna run it, you're gonna have to run it too to compete. The motors we run are so expensive now that I wouldn't take a chance on running the nitrous and tearing them up. I don't think we need it. It's hard enough to keep them together with a single carburetor and, and uh, with no nitrous. It is safe in the gas vehicles as well. That's where it started in drag racing. And I think you have people that have tried it illegally because the sanctioning bodies didn't have any safety regulations on it. And there were problems. 
but we're gonna make it safe. We're gonna follow the way of the legend. I'm gonna be building one. I'm putting a pig built together this year. You ever pulled before? Never have. I've had this old truck I've held on to for a long time. You'll love it once you do it. Ain't nothing like it. More of it. Yeah, I hear it takes up a lot of your time. I've been doing it for over 30 years, so you get started, it's hard to quit. Yeah, after watching the competition in the semi class, it kind of got us interested. We got a lot of parts coming. This to your advantage, though. Yeah. Coming up next episode for Hooked on Dirt, deconstruction continues. I don't care. I'm not using it. All right, take it back. And Derek McWhorter gets some second opinions on his semi. That's first thing's got to go. 